If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to become part of this community. So the other day, Russ posted a community post to his YouTube account saying, my favorite song I've made in the past year comes out March 26th bankrupt honestly just one of my favorite songs ever so from this we know the very you know obvious information that he's got a new song called bankrupt releasing this friday march 26th so you know this week um which i'm of course really excited about he has not been very active in 2021 so far because as you know russ is in you know infamously um has you know introduced us to the whole one song a week kind of approach and he hasn't been that consistent with that strategy for 2021 so far but i'm of course still very excited for this new song bankrupt coming out this friday now if you've been following my channel for some time now you know that i've talked about russ quite a lot in the recent past and i really never used to you know going back you know, over the last year because I wasn't really listening to Russ. I was also under this perception of him just being this corny white rapper that, you know, was very, very um, arrogant and cocky. But then in November, when he dropped his EP, uh, Chomp, which is incredible, by the way, if you haven't seen my review on that, go watch it. That EP changed my whole mind and my whole perception of Russ. And I know I've said this a lot in the past, um, but I really want to go a bit deeper today and kind of talk about why I think Russ um, is such an amazing artist. Now, starting off, as I said, I'm not a Russ stan. I never used to listen to him. I was also under the perception that a lot of you are probably under right now. And I think that that has a lot to do with the image that he portrays to the outside. And this is not necessarily bad. It has helped him to cultivate his fan base that truly believe in his music and that stand behind him, you know, for whatever actions he, he does and whatever music he drops. But of course, that kind of mobilizes the rest of... Uh, the audience that he doesn't attract but that is of course intentional and he has been very successful with that now as i said russ is someone who i never used to listen to but through this ep chomp i really went deeper and digged into his discography and what songs really made him blow up and then also going a bit deeper into his strategy behind that and if you've been, you know, kind of interested in the music industry, you probably know about the Russ approach. So the Russ approach is basically dropping one song per week. And this approach has proven for him to be more rewarding than dropping an album every year. And this has to do with his whole past. So Russ is someone who has been in the music game for quite some time. Always, you know, being independent, doing his own thing. Um, even at some point having his own creative collective that he was running. And uh, he dropped 11 albums, you know, self-produced, self-mastered, self-mixed, self-written, self-recorded, everything. You know, all the things that he prides himself with in his songs. Um, and these 11 projects barely got any attention. And you got to, you know, you know, you got to put, put yourself in that mindset. You drop 11 albums, you know, putting, you know, days and nights into that, working hard, um, and then just not a lot of people listen to it. And then at some point he kind of, you know, thought, okay, I'm very convinced that the music is good, but now I gotta maybe change the approach that I take to releasing this music and promoting this music. And so he thought about, I saw this interview that he did, and I'm just trying to recount the whole thing so y'all can get the bigger picture that I want to explain in this video. So then he kind of uh, went on SoundCloud that he was operating on mainly at the time and looked at a lot of albums that dropped. Not necessarily from big artists, but just like average albums that drop on SoundCloud. And he realized that the first song on any project got the most listens and the most plays. And this made him think, okay, what if I drop a one song album every week? So people, you know, only have one song to listen to, but that every week. And this would consistently grow his fan base. And this really worked. For He did this for three years 
Um, and in this time, he grew his fan base massively, and this eventually led to the release of his um, first uh, record under a major uh, label, uh, There's Really a Wolf, which you probably know. Now, when I say a major label, um, this is also not entirely true. He signed a partnership deal with uh, Columbia Records, so Sony, um, but he was still operating independently for his Russ My Way, um, you know, collective and he only had a cooperation going on so he was still he was still in control of his music and this is a very important theme for him and from then on he has just been you know continuing to to be the successful and he has continued to really um, do this you know do the strategy and execute it of dropping one song every week and I think you know this is a very very good example of an artist being independent and doing it his own way without relying on major record label deals. And he has publicly uh, and very actively spoken out against the industry and against all these successful popping rappers that we see, you know, you know, all the time. Um, and he has said that, you know, your favorite rapper is broken, all that. And at first, when I always saw these headlines, I was like, you know, he's just doing this for the same exact reasons that all these popping rappers are just trying to get attention but over the years Russ has proven to stay consistent with his music and um, he's confidently just been successful um, and this really changed my mindset on Russ and now watching a lot of live streams that he did on on Instagram and digging into his catalog a bit deeper He's truly an amazing artist. He, you know, he has quality and quantity. And this is something that I think is very important about him. And he said this himself a couple of times. He said that, you know, people say you can either have quality music or a lot of quantity. But he said, why, you know, why not both? And this has proven for him to be very, very successful. And this is why I've changed my whole mindset on Russ after, you know, kind of um, going a bit deeper and digging under the surface you know, behind just the facade that he's portraying to the outside, you know, to to everyone besides his fan base. And um, I've become part of his fan base. So this is kind of how I became a Russ fan. And I think if a lot of a lot more people uh, did the same thing and kind of maybe, um, you know, worked their way through his discography and through some interviews with him, they would discover maybe a, a a really good artist for for them uh, and for their own enjoyment and for their own self-development because you can learn a lot from Russ you know he's been through a lot in his music career and has achieved a lot and I think he has a lot of wisdom and a lot of advice that he can give to anyone in any point in life so yeah this is my take on Russ this is how I became a Russ fan over the past couple of months actually after also always negatively uh, you know thinking about him and um, now I want to know, what's your relationship with Russ? Are you a fan? Are you someone who, um, you know, kind of thinks about him negatively? And do you want to maybe get into his music a little bit more now after watching this video? Let me know in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it, and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, and go follow my social media and blog down in the description. It really helps me out. Until the next one, y'all have an incredible day and y'all take care.